Okay, picking up from where we left off. Um, all right, so we're talking about, we're looking for the time interval, which is delta t, from the beginning of the drive to the end, um, when he or she reaches the station. All right, so we already know that the walking time interval, uh, delta t walk, is 0.5 hours, right? We said it was 30 minutes. So uh, we'll say our delta t, we'll just call this 2, since it's the second leg, uh, is going to be 0 0.5 hours. Uh, but we don't know what delta t driving time is, um, so we don't really know what delta t1 is. However, we know that for the drive, the displacement delta x uh, dr is 8.4 kilometers, and the average velocity is 70 kilometers an hour. So we can use that information, and we can find what um, our delta t is. Um, so we given this equation, but we need to rearrange it uh, before we can actually use it, because really delta t is what we're trying to find. So if we look, we'll use, let's see, our delta t, again that's delta t1, is going to be equal to delta x divided by our average velocity, both of which we know. So from here we can just go ahead and plug things in. We know this is 8.4 kilometers. And we know that the average velocity is 70 kilometers an hour. Uh, when you plug that into your calculator, you find that our delta t is 0 0.12 hours. Okay, and that's shown right there. So if you want to know the total time, all you have to do is add that 0 0.12 hours, which is here. Go ahead and add that to our 0.5 hours, and you get our final answer. 0.62 hours. If we go ahead and move on to the next slide. It's asking for what is the average velocity, which is our v average, from the beginning of your drive to your arrival at the station. So we're trying to find the average velocity for the entire trip. All right, so they're asking us to find it numerically and graphically. Well, numerically, we can just use our equation that we're given. So we know that our average velocity is equal to our delta x divided by our delta t. And we found both of these already, which is 10 kilometers divided by 0 0.62 hours. Putting that into a calculator, you're going to get 16.8 kilometers an hour. Checking our sig figs, since our hours only have two sig figs, we need to cut the 0.8 off. So we'll round that up and we'll get 17 kilometers an hour. All right. So there's our final answer. Um, now it also asks us to do this graphically. So if we go ahead and flip to the next slide, you can see the graph that they created. So the pink line, which is here on the left, is going to be uh, represent, or representative of when she's driving. So we know if we look at our time, it only took about 0.12 hours to get there. And she went a total of 8.4 kilometers. So there's our first point. Now well, the second going across here, that's going to be our uh, walking time. Uh, so we know that she only went about uh, two kilometers and she ended up um, taking about half an hour to do that. All right. So if we draw a line from the first point all the way to the second point and take the slope of that, that's going to give us our average velocity. So again, we can take these points, um, go back a slide, take the points, divide them, which is basically the exact same thing here. It's going to be 10.4, and we're going to divide it by 0.62 hours, and that's going to get us 17 kilometers an hour. So you could have done it um, working it out mathematically or with a graph. All right, so the last question, part D. Suppose that to pump the gasoline, pay for it and walk back to the truck takes you another 45 minutes. So she went all the way to the gas station, now she's walking back towards the truck. Uh, what is your average speed from the beginning of your drive to the return um, of the truck with the gasoline? So we're trying to find the average speed. Okay. So again, uh, average speed is going to be our total distance. divided by our total time. All right, uh, so for distance, we know that to get all the way to the gas station, it was gonna take 10.4 
kilometers. Okay, but she also walked back um, another two kilometers. So if you add two kilometers, you're going to end up with a total distance of 12.4 kilometers. All right. Uh, for delta t, we're going to use um, what they gave us before, which was 0.12 hours plus 0.5 hours plus another 45 minutes to get back, which is 0.75 hours. And again, this is going to be our delta t. So that whole thing is going to take us 1.37 hours. All right, so we have our uh, distance there. We have our time. We can just plug that into the equation. So our average speed is going to be 12.4 kilometers divided by 1.37 hours, and we'll get 1.9 kilometers an hour. All right, so that concludes this video. Um, next time we're going to be talking about instantaneous speeds, and we'll continue on with the rest of the chapter.